says an object in motion will stay in motion until a force acts upon it. So we're going to take a penny and put a penny into the balloon like this, and then you blow it up. Again, let's, let's it, blow up thing a few yeah, times. You don't want to um, uh, to inhale the penny, so just be very careful. This one's yours. I already did this oh, one for you. you. Okay. Right. So now watch what happens. You're going to hold on to it at the top like this, and then you're going to give it a little shake and spin. All right, and stop and look at that spin that you get inside. Isn't that amazing? It's centripetal force in action, not centrifugal, but centripetal. That's very cool. So it, uh, the penny wants to stay in motion, in that motion, until a force acts upon it, and gravity is actually pulling it down. What's kind of cool is if we had a teacher in space, she could do this on the space shuttle, and the kids well, on Earth could do, and hers would just hers keep going would never and going. Stop. Well, you know, it would stop over because of friction. But isn't that cool? That is very cool. So he's cool. doing a teacher workshop, and uh, and we ran out of pennies or didn't have pennies, but we had some hex nuts. So here, put that behind you. Oh. You need this. So now this is the cooler one. Watch this. This is a hex nut that goes down inside. Now a hex nut has those little six uh, sides to it, right? That's a hex nut. Yes. <laughs> Because it's heavier, will it go longer? It's heavier and it's not smooth, all right? Oh. So now watch, this one is yours, oh. all right? So now oh, I look cool. inside. Again, hold on to it at top. We're getting a little centripetal force. Listen to this. Oh, friction makes a noise. Yeah, no, it's, it's vibration. So you hear that little vibration? Is that great? That is Imagine cool. a group of like 300 kids all at once doing this. <laughs> Is that great? It would be annoying. It's yes. a screaming balloon. Now, uh, the, the question is, I wonder what would happen if you got a... Yes, Mark, that's very, very good. So what would happen if you just got a bigger balloon? So that's perfect. So here's what you do. You just uh -oh. take the balloon like this, and here's the big red oh, blower, and now you just blow up this one here. Perfect, all right? So this is a good size right there. So uh, why not? And we're using these big clear balloons so you can kind of see what's going on inside. This one is yours, so oh. you can throw the other one off to the Multiple side. Multiple hex Got nuts it. In Got this it. One. And now this one. There's so like now watch this. Your whole body. Yeah, you just oh. have to kind of do this with your body. Isn't that crazy? I love that. It's like the circus. Don't you love that? <laughs> it's just and and centripetal force in motion. This is driving our audio engineer crazy right now. He's screaming in the booth. That is, what? That is Isn't amazing. That just great? And in the but vacuum of space, they would also eventually slow down. Well, and I would friction would do that. Friction yeah, absolutely. Would slow them but down, you get huh? vibration. Anybody who does it at home, you can actually feel well, that I vibration. To, I want you to be in space now and do this. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> yeah, fun. If we're teaching kids about vibration, what a great way. You can actually feel the vibration oh, in this yeah. membrane. Isn't that amazing? Where do you get these giant balloons? Can you buy these? Balloon Boy had them in his garage. Balloon so boy. I was just, I went, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> This is a you know a party store or something like that. It's perfect. Newton's first law: an object in motion will stay in motion until a force acts upon it. Then it'll centripetal force goes. I think it's just gorgeous, don't you think? That is just. Too I put it up cool on the website the and probably more physics than we needed to know about this one demonstration. <laughs> all right? And look, I didn't. I wasn't blown up or or, or no, set on fire. No, we were still young.